not long ago, I was uh, in a place where I could hear uh, Bishop Gregory Palmer, who's mm -hmm. bishop in the West Ohio Conference, um, ask this question. He said, um, does the United Methodist Church really want to only be a chaplain to the white middle class? Mm -hmm. um, I think we would say, no, that, I mean, we're sitting here today, no, that's not what we want. Um, what are the kinds of things that, that you think um, the United Methodist Church could do or is called to do to avoid that kind of narrow ministry and, well, and um, to avoid uh, you know, not being able to be the kind of church that God calls us to be? You know, Andy, that's a good question, but I'd like to give an example. When I was a disaster response coordinator, that was the best job the best calling that I had. It was outside of the church and um, and I worked I worked with the Anglo churches more than I did the, the African American churches. Mm -hmm. And and I did the same thing in my cross racial appointments as I did in the uh, in the disaster response. It's so, I, I, you know, I think about that all the time. What was it that was so different that I was able to work with the Anglo churches not being their clergy, their pastor, mm -hmm. than the disaster response? I, I think that the difference was is that we sat down and we listened to one another. Mm -hmm. And and I heard what they brought to they brought it to the table. They heard what I brought to the table, and we were able to jail. And we were able to do wonderful work in the North Texas Conference as far as disaster response is concerned. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we need to do. I think it's very important. You know, we, we talk about dismantling racism. We, you know, we, we've been talking about dismantling racism since I started this conference, started in this conference. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about it. We're still talking about, uh, you know, studying uh, gay, lesbian, homosexuality. Why are we studying it? We need to understand that we serve God first. And so when we sit down at the table, we need to, like, like Quincy Jones would say, check our egos at the door. And then come and listen to what God has to say at the table. You might not like what I say, but listen to what I said.